Hello YouTube. Alright, this is just my opinion and my observations and my review about the new DuckTail series. There's going to be some spoilers and yes, I know the series has not actually fully started yet, not until, was it, September 23rd? Yeah, but the first episode is out and you can actually go to the link at the bottom for or there might be links somewhere else. But definitely in the bottom or in the doobly doob and what I'm talking about that will have that straight to the actual video. Well anyways, I'm gonna say that the story was great. Uh, it was well, it was different than and similar to the original series. Uh, I really think that they did an excellent job of using the original source material such as from the comic books plus the original uh, DuckTales TV show back in the late 80s early 90s so uh, yeah I was a kid at the time when that came out so to me it was like kind of like a new version of my favorite story same thing with Darkwing Duck and, oh yeah, by the way, I'm actually a background character in uh, Bunkers D Bobcat. Uh, you have to look for me. I'm, I'm actually in this part of the series where when he uh, switched over to Miranda Wright as his partner. There you go. Okay, that's a bit of Disney trivia with me. I'm actually a cartoon. Anyways, um, yeah. They decided to do was compress the very beginning into one story that's complete to instead of having multiple episodes which originally the pilot was actually you know a TV movie animated movie if you really think about it it was really just one movie that was broke well end up broken up into separate episodes that's where you get that one arc about uh, the lost gold of Atlantis or whatever it was, you know, the lost, you know, gold, uh, Incan gold, and you had that one conquistador that was like, had gold fever, and yeah, you, and after that, you never hear about gold fever, or, and Scrooge never, you know, scratches, or hiccups, or, you know, or whatever, about gold, he's wrong gold, or, you know, things like that. They did do was took out the butler and gave that job up to two people. One is Mrs. Beakley. They introduce her right off the bat, and including with her granddaughter Webigel or Webby. Uh, instead of making her like this cutesy little girl where she is like, oh, Scrooge, Scrooge me back, you know, Uncle Scrooge, you know, like that. But I actually liked the original Webby of how she was designed and how she was because after all she was a little girl who wanted to be like the rest of the bigger kids, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie when she ends up meeting them. But she's introduced a l not too later, but yeah. But in the beginning, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are brought over to Scrooge, you know. Yeah, yeah. But in this one... Uh, if you didn't know, uh, they live with Don uh, Uncle Donald. They don't know anything about their own family history. So Donald ships them off to Uncle Scrooge for at least a day, you know, because he had was a job interview. And then right off the bat, he finds out that uh, he's you know, sent to work at that moment. So he had to tell uh, Donald that, uh, you know, Donald had to tell Scrooge. <clears throat> you know, hold, could you take care of the kids? You know, you need to take care of these kids for about the weekend. Well, anyways, the path continues, and yeah, the, the story arc of the treasure hunt. And this is when you see Donald in action as an actual treasure hunter or hero for the first time. Of course, in the background, you see images about this. But, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie just kind of, like, blew off a lot of this shit. Especially after hearing what Scrooge actually thought of them and his whole family. It's like, for him, his family was nothing but trouble. That's what he said. 
And yeah. But I actually like how they did it in the very beginning because that puts, like, Scrooge is saying, hey, I don't need anybody, not even my family. But it sets it up just like how it was that he was very brash and harsh, you know, you know and he was off-putting to his own kids. Uh, they also brought into Launchpad really quick, but then again, the original series, Launchpad was actually his pilot, you know, for adventuring and all that. But this time, they had him as a chauffeur. <laughs> so, his butler slash chauffeur from the original series, he's gone. His job is taken up by, you know, you know, uh, Mrs. Beakley and also Launchpad. So it's split between those two. Uh, and Webby, Webby is more, uh, Webby Gale is more uh, an adventurer. She knows everything about that family, just about. So she's, you know, more of an integral part of the story and not the damsel in distress that gets in trouble or you know is the cute factor but she is an actual adventurer and she holds up her end you know it's a very good character of how they redesigned her i don't really care for the uh, the art style that much although it is reminiscent of the original art style in the comic books but I'm still more perfectionist, like how the TV show was, the original TV show was, that was more based off of how Disney's standards of their animation is. The comics were like that, but they also had was more blocky shapes, and depending on who was the, the artists for whatever, whichever comic book that they end up making. They had multiple comics, so... Yeah, so the characters changed over time. So, I liked uh, at the end of this episode, Scrooge is even more richer than ever because he brings back the actual jewel of Atlantis that's not cursed, and he specifies that uh, it will pay. It will basically be clean energy for all of Duckburg for the next, at least for the next fifty years. So that's kind of cool. Clean energy for the whole entire city, but it's still part of, you know, McDuck Enterprises. Or water and power, as it were. Part of the McDuck Enterprises. But yeah. But it's true, he is a multi trillionaire. Yeah. Alright. Um, but at the very end, what I really liked. They never did this in the original series. I wish they did more. Because in the original series, they kind of hint about their mother. Not their father, but their mother. But never showed really images of her. But at the very end, they run into is an image of their mother, Huey, Dewey, and Louie's mom, as an adventurer. You know, as an actual you know treasure hunter hero. And this is the first time you see her, but it's like, at the end, click, go. It's like, mom? Yeah. So, at least, it gives you more of a story insight about, uh, at least with their mother, finding out their mom and probably even their dad were adventurers before she had them. And, but, how did their mom die? How did their parents die? How uh, they in you know the kids ended up with Donald. Well, Donald, now, if you didn't know, uh, Donald's boat towards the end it's it blew up because uh, it was Dewey that left the engine on. <laughs> Oops, left left stuff on it. So and uh, blowing up like the gas and all that. Boom. So anyways, um, Donald's boat house is gone. So everybody has to now live in Scrooge's uh, mansion because, well, it's huge and their family. Yeah, but it's kind of neat that they bring reference from uh, in of uh, of the intro, the intro song, 
and the intro song is actually done very well and same thing with the intro piece uh, because in the very beginning of the animation it starts out and goes straight into story no intro or anything just goes straight for the whole entire thing and when everything is set up then it goes straight into the intro and then uh, that goes into the actual story but to the rest of it I actually like it when it was done doing that but uh, but yeah the intro was very imaginative it's showing scenes of you know scenes within the show that didn't exist more or less you know or did or didn't you know, kind of the same thing they did with the original series but they show some of the the villains for at least for the first season that are going to be in the series and some of the villains you notice right off the bat is you know the ones that they fought in the very beginning i'm not going to tell you too much but i suggest you watch it uh don't take my word for it of being it's really great i happen to like the story very much uh the animation was excellent i just didn't really care for the art style of the characters being so blocky at least their heads you know uh, but that's more of a preference thing but it, if you can just say you know get past the whole thing that it's not you know the disney afternoon version you know back in the late 80s early 90s not that version if you can just think of it as another retelling you know i don't get so butthurt about it i just take it in for what it is you might actually really enjoy it and say you know what it's a continuation of the original series it's very much in the same style uh i don't mean like design wise somewhat but i am talking more of story wise such as you have as character development and plus uh, an adventure things like that but uh go look at it and um, write a review about it, you know, tell me what you think of it, alright, till then.